Such a beautiful spoon that is. Mmm, delicious mouthful. Yes. welcome back to my channel today on the menu we have some shrimp soup quick ingredient breakdown we are gonna be using 500 grams of jumbo shrimp that I cleaned deveined rinsed with lime and vinegar over here we have some fresh seasonings if you look closely you will see that I have some thyme some parsley some onions garlic one scotch bonnet pepper and some spring onions over here okay over there on that side, we have some chocho, some carrots, some baby corn, some pumpkin. In this jar over here, we have some fresh green seasoning that I blended over the weekend. We have a nice sweet potato to go in there as well. And I am going to be using my salt, black pepper, and all these other seasonings. But as I go along, I will show you what I'm using. So this is the peel, the head, the tail, the skin everything and i have sort of rinsed this off as well to remove any extra impurities okay so the first thing that we want to do we are going to go ahead and make this stock so over here we have a pot okay and i'm just going to be going in with all that shrimp head skin everything okay so like i said we will be making a nice little stock to go with our soup all right now you want to go in with about three cups of water in there like so a little bit more brilliant so this is about five cups of water all right and i'm just going to be adding some spring onions from our plate to it as well as some garlic and some onions as well okay then we're adding about five to six pimento seeds in there and a little all-purpose seasoning. Okay. I'd say about a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. This is my fresh green seasoning. Okay, and we just want to put about a heaping teaspoon in there like so. Bear in mind, we just want to make a nice little stock okay now the thing about stock you need to make sure that you don't make it too salty because to the main pot of soup i will be adding a bit of salt and all these extra seasonings so i only add just a little teaspoon of all-purpose in there no salt and nothing else simply because i will be adding some to the main pot anyway okay so you just want to cover that up okay give it about 10 15 minutes on a low heat and then when it's all done we are gonna come back to start making our main so soup. over here we have my shrimp okay this is about 500 grams as mentioned and to season this up very easy to season i'm going in with some garlic okay just a little bit of garlic i'd say about a teaspoon of garlic a little pinch of salt Okay, this is about a quarter teaspoon of salt. My black pepper, of course. Okay, this is about half a teaspoon of black pepper. And last but not least, my green seasoning. Okay. Brilliant. And you sort of just want to mix the shrimp with that seasonings In the meantime, while my stock is boiling away nicely, I'm just going to go ahead with some clear up and just cover my shrimp like so, so it can rest. Okay, 
also allow it to rest for at least 15 minutes while the stock is boiling. Okay guys, so our stock has been boiling for the past 20 minutes. Okay, we have a nice little stock going on, very light, very nice very flavorful and you can tell that your stock is ready by looking at the crayfish heads oh look at that <laughs> i forgot to take this one out oh well more for me then okay so what i'm gonna do is to set the stock to one side because we need to allow it to cool and then we are going to strain it into the main pot a bit later on so what you want to do let it sit in the pot for one side for about 10 minutes and then we're going to work some magic with that so here is our pot that we will be making our soup in. Add a little bit of oil to the pot, nothing too much, about a heaping tablespoon of oil. And as the oil starts to heat up, you want to go in with your garlic and your onions, okay? We are also going in with our pumpkin. I am also going in with my carrot, my chocho, my baby corn all that good stuff as well as my sweet potato yeah, because everything in here is going to take about 15-20 minutes to cook anyway so it's no point putting some at a time okay and you start to just want to stir that up And now, I'm just going to be straining my stock into my pot. Okay, beautiful. Okay, probably add a bit more stock to it. Looking beautiful. I just want to set that aside, eat it, discard it, do whatever you want to do. Now we also need to flavor the pot, so I'm going to be going in with a little bit of black pepper. Black pepper of course. Okay, you just want to put a generous amount of black pepper in there. Put some garlic powder in there as well. And just a little all-purpose seasoning. I'm also adding my scotch bonnet pepper here like that, as well as my thyme, very important. We also have a few spring onions in there from the plate that can go in. I have a small broadleaf thyme that can go in there as well. Okay, three small ones from my plant. So this is how it's looking, really nice and beautiful. I'm now we're just going to go ahead and put the lid on and allow this to boil for about 10-15 minutes and then we're going to add in our shrimp. As you can see, if we check the pot, we have a nice low bubble coming up and this looks really, really nice. 
this is going to be so full of flavor just wonderful So guys, my pot has been going for the past 15 minutes. Okay, and it's time to check. Looking very nice. Just want to stir it up. Okay. And most of my things in my pot have been cooked. Okay, I know definitely my pumpkin is cooked, the carrots are cooked. All that nice stuff is cooked. I did go in with a handful of parsley, okay? And because this pot has been going for the past 15 minutes, I'm gonna go in and add a packet of this fish tea soup mix, and I'm just gonna be adding the whole packet. Okay, notice how I didn't add any salt to that pot because I know I was reserving the um, fish tea soup mix to add to it. It is also now time to add my shrimp smells wonderful and you just want to add it to the pot like so now the shrimp is only going to take about five six minutes to cook so you just want to stir it into the pot okay guys and as it starts to get nice and pink you will know that it is ready okay so beautiful pot coming along very nice pot coming along Okay, so stirring your shrimp with all that goodness. Yes, my loves. See that? Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So you just want to cover it up, allow it to simmer for about three, four minutes, and it will be all ready. I hope you enjoy the recipe. If you do, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really enjoy cooking for you guys. I'll see you again in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.